this program we are here to witness today. For a long time, as a person who was born in Malawi, grew up in Malawi, I've seen the challenges that Malawians have been facing, especially in terms of climate change. But the programs and the projects that we've been conducting or promoting in terms of tree planting, they have always been trees that people in the villages cannot eat at all. So we have always been planting trees like acacia, potato, whatever. But then, these people in the villages have been using the same place they could plant maize to eat, to dedicate to tree planting in order to address issues to do with climate change. When I came here this week to facilitate this training on tree planting, the first issue that came from this village was that we are hungry and we need something to eat. I would like to express my gratitude to EU for um, at least taking another step, another approach to tree planting. The incorporation of fruit trees. You can see here the variety of trees planted and most of these trees, almost 80% of the trees, are trees that can produce something and somebody can harvest and eat. So we are talking climate change, but we are also talking about the same issues these chiefs have been talking about. So they are saying that in the past they have been encouraged to establish home gardens in order to meet nutrition needs. But home gardens alone wouldn't address all the problems that these uh, farmers or people in these villages were facing. So that's why I'm saying that this is a prominent project, a prominent program this year facilitated by the EU in Oxford, taking another approach on tree planting. I can give you an example of some of the trees that we planted here, the, the mangoes for example. These villagers will be able to harvest the leaves and the flowers and make tea, mango tea. For those, I was, I was talking with these um, uh, villagers when I came on Monday that if you are taking this tea and you are happily married, you can play football every day, every week, 90 minutes, without any part of the family complaining. <laughs> and there, guavas planted in there, papayas planted. Research shows that a papaya needs only the farmer's name because every part of a papaya tree can be used uh, as medicine. But we're talking of people in the villages uh, whose children are malnourished. You walk in these villages, you find these kids with big, big stomachs, small, small muscles, and they're short with deep voice. They are malnourished. They need projects like this. This project can help address climate change as well as such um, uh, uh, problems in the, in the village. Some people were asking, why are you planting trees this way? Um, we are mimicking the natural processes of planting trees. In nature, you will find trees planted next to each other regardless of the species. And most of these trees are not of the same type. And that's why they don't compete on light and they also don't compete on food. That's exactly the techniques and approach we are taking in facilitating tree planting in the villages and the communities because villagers are always used to planting trees in straight lines. These are, these are the things that we don't see in nature. So you will see a combination of a lot of things working together, supporting each other to address issues to do with climate change, providing needs for the things found in nature, but also providing surplus to the people living next to that um, uh, environment or that forest. So I would like to encourage to Aguno, Kuti Musamadile Mitengoi, Chifugu Antami Zambili, Tegatala Mitengo Ngadichon Chitima Siya Pompa. Mitengo Yosi Maya Ngadido, Tindizwe Dosmene, Siko Za Kumadia, Mitengo Yemene, Zifu Nikina Aguna Kuti, Timange Mpanda, Ozungu Lila. Karango Yemene, Dijoli Ngadiona Kuti Zwe Do, Zisa Adye Mitengo Yatuwe. Tatala Mitengo Yambili, Unoko Kumalawi. And I always joke with people, there are a lot of organizations planting millions of trees and we're only 17.5 million people in Malawi. If all those million trees were planted and they grew, 
all the people on the planet Earth could have been uh, sleeping or climbing up into the tree because we couldn't have enough space on the surface to live. But now we don't see these trees because these trees are not looked after after they've been planted. So I would encourage the villagers to look after these trees. Uh, you plant the face around it and you irrigate whenever necessary, you prune whenever necessary, and um, you will realize the benefits. 3,000 trees have been planted today, but then next year, we would like to come and see 3,000 trees growing, not 3,000 trees being abused. With these a few remarks, I thank you all, I thank AU, and also, do you know the reason why the chiefs are saying AU? It's because it's R-A-E-O, it's not E-U, it's A-U. So I thank you all for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. Biswick. Alakula, Biswick, you are good. We have been here for a minute. We have been here for a minute.